This lecture is about resolution. That's a basic method for satisfiability of propositional formulas. And in fact it's still the basis of the current SAT solvers. A propositional formula we defined is a formula composed from Boolean variables and the operators NOT, OR, AND, implication and by implication. And the propositional formula is it defined to be satisfiable, SAT, if it is possible to give values to the variable, variables in such a way that the formula yields true. Resolution is not applicable directly on arbitrary formulas, it's only applicable directly on formulas of a particular shape, namely conjunctive normal forms, abbreviated to CNF. And what's a CNF? Well, a CNF is by definition a conjunction of clauses, where a clause is defined to be a of disjunction of literals, and a literal is either a variable or the negation of a variable. Hence a CNF is of the shape a big conjunction running over some i, uh, where every part is a disjunction running over j of a number of literals l, i, j. Let's give an example. Here we have a CNF consisting of four clauses. The first is p or q, the second not p or not q, and so on. And this is unsatisfiable since for every choice of the variables one of the four clauses yields false. Arbitrary formulas can be transformed to CNF in a clever way by the Zeiten transformation, maintaining satisfiability. Later we will see how this work works for the time being, we focus on CNFs. But by this transformation resolution also will be applicable to arbitrary propositional formulas. What's the idea of checking satisfiability of a CNF? Clauses, we think of clauses as properties that we know to be true. And the idea is, assume that the whole formula is true, the whole formula is a conjunction of clauses, that means all clauses should be true. Uh, and every clause is a disjunction of literals and at least one of the literals should be true. But from the clauses we want to derive new clauses. And then we try to derive a contradiction. And in the setting of CNFs a contradiction is the same as an empty clause, namely an empty clause is an empty disjunction and that is false. We will see an example in a minute. The empty clause is denoted by the bottom symbol. And if we can derive this empty clause, we have derived the contradiction and then we know that the CNF is unsatisfiable. Surprisingly, for this deriving we only need one simple rule, the resolution rule. What is the resolution rule? Well, the resolution rule is as follows, it states that if we have a clause in which the variable p occurs, let's say p or v, so we have the literal p and the rest of the clause is called v, and we have another clause in which not p occurs and let w be the rest of the other clause, then we may derive the new clause v or w. Why is that correct? Well, if we know that p or v is true and not p or w is true, we do a case analysis, if P holds, then from the validity of not P or W, we can conclude that W holds, so also V or W holds. And in the other case, if P is false, then not P is true, and then P or V means that V holds. And if V holds, we can also conclude V or W. So no matter whether P holds or not P holds, in all cases we can conclude that V or W holds. And this is correctness of the resolution rule. And in the standard notation of giving proof rules, the rules reads as follows. We have the condition above a line and below a line we have the conclusion. The conditions are P or V and not P or W and the conclusion is 
phi or w. Well, in a clause the order of the literals does not play a role. P or Q is equivalent to Q or P, so if we have a disjunction of literals the order doesn't matter. Moreover, if we have double occurrences of literals, we can, they may be removed since P or P is equivalent to P. So we can think of a clause as a set of literals. And similarly, the whole CNF is a, can be thought of as a set of clauses. And the validity of a CNF is just assume that all clauses are true and then satisfiability means check whether we can derive a contradiction. Let's give an example of this resolution. We consider the CNF consisting of the following five clauses. One, two, three, four and five. And let's see whether we can apply resolution on these five clauses. Well, look at clause number one, P or Q, and the clause number three, not Q, R, R. Well, we see that in clause one Q occurs, in clause three not Q occurs, so here we can do resolution, and then a new clause is the remainder of clause one and the remaining of clause three, which is together P or R. So we derive this new clause and we number it six. Next we do a following resolution step. We consider clause five and clause six. Five is not P or R, six is P or R. And we see not P occurs in five, P occurs in six. So by doing a resolution we get the remainder of the one or the remainder of the other. But this is in both cases R, so we get R or R, which is equivalent to R. So the new clause only consists of the single literal R. And now we consider resolution on two and seven. Two reads not R or S. Seven consists only of the single literal R. That means we can do resolution and the result of resolution is the remainder of clause two, which is S, and the remaining of clause seven, which is nothing, so together that's S. And now we can do resolution on four and eight. Four reads not R or not S, eight reads S, so we can do resolution on S, and that means the new clause is the remainder of four, which is not R, and the remaining of R of eight, which is nothing. So resulting in not R. But now we see we have seven and nine. Seven is R and nine is not R. And that yields a contradiction. Intuitively it is clear, but we can also see this as a resolution step. Namely, seven is R or nothing. Nine is not R or nothing. So if we do resolution, what we get is just nothing and that's the empty clause. So here we have derived the empty clause and we have proved that the formula is unsatisfiable. Some remarks to make. There is a lot of freedom and choice. There are several other sequences of resolution steps that will lead to the contradiction too. And the resolution steps on P, in which V contains a letter Q and W contains not Q for some Q or conversely, these are allowed but they are useless, since then in the resulting new clause phi or w, it is of the shape q or not q or something else, and q or not q is equivalent to true, so it does not contain any fruitful information. If a clause consists of a single literal, as we already saw in our example, such a clause consisting of a single literal is called a unit clause, then the resolution means we just remove the literal not l from a clause containing not L, and that's called unit resolution. Some more remarks. Correctness of resolution, that is soundness, and that is holds by soundness of the rule, which I explained by the case analysis on P and not P. Later we will also see completeness. If a CNF is unsatisfiable, then this can be derived by only applying the resolution rule. So a CNF is unsatisfiable if and only if the empty clause can be derived by only using the resolution rule. So concluding, 
We saw that by the resolution rule we can derive that the CNF is unsatisfiable. This is the basis of current powerful SAT solvers. Thank you.